What's going on YouTube? Dave back again. Guess what? It's mail time. Um, so I got a couple packages in today, as most of you know, if you follow me and uh, saw my video last week, I got a new microphone, which you're listening to right now. And it's the Audio-Technica AT475R2D2 something or other. I don't have the box in front of me. So um, for as most of you know, for about the last year, I've been using the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB version. And this thing is great. Uh, it's a shotgun microphone. Uh, hyper car cardioid and it hyper is correct. Um, I think it may be too, too sensitive for me, even in, in here. Uh, let's see, at some point it was pointed at the wall and it ended up picking up the kids through the wall. Uh, when I was listening to it with headphones on, uh, talking about which Pokemon was the best. And it was also picking up my wife on the phone with her sister downstairs with the door closed all the way down there about something on that. And I ended up picking that up in the background. So I think it may be a little too sensitive. So over the weekend, I went trolling Amazon as I usually do. And I ended up picking up another uh, Audio-Technica AT2020, but the XLR version so that I can run it through the mixer through... Firemall LLC. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually the company or that's just where it ended up shipping out of. This did not ship directly from Amazon Warehouse. This is what I ended up getting in the mail. Uh, what the fuck? Seriously, uh, I know I'm a package whore. Like, I like keeping... I'm one of those that I keep everything pristine. My phone is pristine. There's no scratches. There's no anything. Everything I have, special electronics, this thing looked like a fat boy had sat on it. Now, luckily, and I'll show you guys how this ends up coming. Luckily, there is a nice foam insert that the microphone goes into, so didn't have to worry about that. Just give you a quick, quick overview of what came in here. Uh, so there's that. Uh, comes with the same leatherette pouch that the shotgun did. And actually, my other AT2020 came in it. And it comes with the bracket for mounting it on uh, either microphone stand or swing arm, which is what I end up using. Comes with warranty information. And like I said, this is what I've been using for the last uh, year or so. And it's been great. Uh, the problem is that uh, to get really good sound out of it, um, I had to get up on it. Now you guys may end up hearing because my heater just kicked on, this thing, will it actually picks it up. So hopefully this isn't screwing up the audio. Um, so this is what I've been using and this is the one that I just picked up. I do kind of like that, it's in black instead of gray. But XLR, USB, other way around, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here real quick. So this does mean I'm going to have the big ball sack, uh, but I can control the gain and everything with the mixer and turn up the gain so I don't have to have it right in front of me. If this works out well for me, then that one is going back. I ended up getting this one's for $79 refurbished where the shotgun microphone actually cost me $169. Uh, so that one will be going back because I can use that other money for other things. So hang on just a second. I will be right back. All right, boys and girls, here we are back again. This time you're listening to the Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR input through the same mixer, same settings, same distance. Everything's the same. I just swapped out the microphone. Let me know what you guys think, whether this is a little bit clearer, uh, if I should change anything. If you guys think that this actually sounds better to you, which I won't know until I listen to this on the playback. Uh, I did listen to it to the headphones just to make sure that things weren't too crazy. Um, sounded pretty even. It sounded a little bit more isolated as far as sound that comes around it. Um, I'm kind of happy so far, but you guys are the ones having to watch my videos. I know some of you listen through headphones. Some of you just through speakers on your computer. It's important to me of what you guys think. Uh, what else did we get in the mail today? Uh, today, <clears throat> uh, 
we got this big ass bastard and uh so yeah we're going to be working on that i have to thank uh my friends over at hobbywave.com let me tell you uh what ended up happening with that so i ended up ordering it i wasn't going to do a video on that kit at all but then i saw a couple of videos that were done and it piqued my interest it's overboard it looks like it has a giant zaku shlong on the back of it uh and i wanted to i had to hold it um no <laughs> that was kind of dirty um which doesn't sound like me at all anyway so yeah i wanted to check that out so i ordered it and i got an email from the the owners over there uh they're one of the com few companies that have stuck with me over time randomly will stick stuff in for me to review when I order stuff really great people uh, it's $12 shipping whether it be one kit or 99 kits it doesn't matter it's just flat rate shipping uh, which is really awesome they ship to Canada and and the US so good guys over there definitely check them out I'm going to start unpackaging that and probably put it up for tomorrow's video. Uh, I'm really happy with where things have gone for this month. As you know, I started doing videos on January 1st and out of 31 days, I think I've made 26 videos, something like that. And uh, you guys have really helped me stay motivated and stay on it. I know there's been a few times that I mentioned I'm only going to do, I'm going to break down and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so forth. Right now I'm doing videos as they come to me. Uh, I wanted to do a speed veiled video. I was working on the lupus and this is as far as I ended up getting uh, last night. And, uh, you know, I have to give big props to uh, the guys that do the speed build, build videos uh, that they're, really good production. I know how much time that it takes to do those and then how much time that it takes to edit them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with, with where things are. Uh, definitely also stick around. I have these guys to show you. These are the Tamiya, uh, weathering pastels from the weather master kit. I got the whole kit uh, I have a couple videos planned on that showing you the differences between using chalk pastels, those, and uh, what else we got. Uh, since uh, the guys over at Hobby Wave were nice enough to send me the Zaku, I broke down and paid and ordered uh, the full armor Gundam <laughs> to go with him. So yeah, I think I might enter this once I do the review on it. I may enter this to do a Z Zach's contest over at Zaku Aurelius. Uh, he's holding a, a Zaku contest, a uh, build off contest on his channel. Well, his information's over there. Definitely head over and check him out. He posted up the video a couple days ago. Really cool stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Justinius builds uh, back in the news. He's back posting up videos and stuff. Uh, he did a video a uh, today, yesterday on the Nouvelle, uh, GM three, GM three, however you want to end up saying it. And, uh, that's from the G system. I actually have the G system best one that came in a couple weeks ago, seen on my shelf, uh, right outside this room that I actually want to do an unboxing on and show you. Um, and I have some resin stuff. I also have an Exia Avalanche resin conversion kit on the way. So I will be showing that to you guys. Cause as you know, my favorite suit out of any of them and series all together is happens to be the, the Gundam double O that whole series. Um, and the Exia suit base suit, uh, is all together except for the part with the the riser uh, i hate that snap of that plane on the back of it um, i have a pg in the in the closet that i still have to build for myself done a couple for other people but this one's going to be for myself and uh god i, I don't even want to build the the razor uh the riser i may just end up giving that away uh because 
I have no interest on snapping it on the back. That's just, I just prefer the suit itself. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Uh, it is Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Holy crap, it's Tuesday. I was thinking it was Wednesday. So it's Tuesday. I will try and put up a video. I might work on until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Uh, doing the unboxing on the Psycho Zaku because, well, it's in. And you guys might want to see it. Thanks for sticking with me. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.